Hello everyone. In this episode with Adronis Downloads from Sirius, Adronis is going to be sharing more information relating to revealing insights relating to our DNA. So this is going to be a pretty interesting channeling. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring Adronis through and we'll get started with the channeling session. So here we go. <clears throat> We are here at this time, and we bid you greetings, and thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius, sending love, appreciation, and gratitude to all who are tuning in to this particular broadcast being brought forward through your internet collective consciousness. We will share particular insights relating to the revealing of information pertaining to your own DNA. There are many common questions upon your planet relating to many other individuals who feel that there must be certain stratagems, there must be practical understandings, there must be methods, ideas, relating to how there is a further increase pertaining to your DNA. But the big secret, as it were, is that your DNA is always in a state of activation. That there is never a point of in incomprehensible or immeasurable feeling of stagnation. It is quite the opposite, that there is indeed, in fact, measurable constants relating to the idea of how your DNA is expanding. Now, it may not be very familiar in regards to your own public record, as it were, but this is basically utilizing what you would consider to be as sound frequencies, that there are particular frequencies that are being developed upon your planet to which you can look for relating to, shall we say, Russian as well as Asian research that discover, shall we say, the measuring of specific frequencies of DNA that are in that sense being tracked, being monitored, and being, shall we say, observed in this way of the format pertaining to sound frequencies. Now, this is not the parenthesis altogether relating to what is being shared here pertaining to DNA. But just so many of you do realize that this is able to be monitored in regards to particular frequencies, very similar to what you would know as somewhat to the degree of a sonar-based tracking system. That is not so much in regards to the harmfulness relating to your own sonar waves, but is very similar in technology in regards to creating and resonating an amplification effect in regards to one's own body to then track the numerances, as it were, pertaining to the DNA amplification, the DNA movement, and the DNA expansion. The whole idea really is that your DNA is a genetic factory. It is a factory that is allowing the growth, the expansion, the recognition of your own self in higher degrees of advancement that comes into play at every single moment. Your DNA is always in a state of processing every single moment that you exist. The words, the thoughts that are chosen throughout yourself are based upon the implementations and categorization and implementation and integration relating to your own DNA strands. The mitochondrial levels pertaining to your own DNA are in a constant state of ignited flux. As these particular thought forms, as these processes, as these words become spoken through yourself, you will notice that your DNA is fundamentally enhancing. You do understand through many of you that your body is being rebuilt all the time. Many of you understand that it is a one-year process for the body to once again fully be reconstructed. And this is correct. Every cell in your body is designed to rebuild upon itself. Rebuild upon the factory of the legion consciousness relating to your own genetic makeup. Now the whole idea really is that Many of you are aware that you have 12 strands of DNA and that many of you feel that, again, there are only two to three strands of DNA that are particularly activated in the majority of you at this time. The whole degree is that the 12 DNA strands are indeed there. But the whole idea is that there are, shall we say, a state of reverse osmosis or what we would say reverse mitosis that would assist in actually 
creating a overtone package, as it were, pertaining to all 12 strands of DNA to create them into what you would know as two-strand or three-strand DNA helixes. Now, the whole idea really is that the plan for many of you in regards to the 12 strand of DNA that was reverted and overtoned into the point of a two-strand DNA helix was planned. This was all part of your aspect in regards to, shall we say, advancement training. That it is not to the idea of what you would consider to be as malevolent masters from the stars coming to your planet and in that sense altering the DNA. The DNA in regards to its alteration of its overtone capacity was meant as a failsafe in order to reset humanity to start from the ground up. And that's the whole point. That's why many of you in that sense have been through this, shall we say, encounter relating to once having 12 strands of DNA to in that sense allowing those 12 strands of DNA to be thoroughly compressed and being amalgamated in regards to an overtone capacity of what you would know as your two-strand DNA that is now starting to move into a third-strand DNA helix in common ways to what you would know as many of your newborns upon your planet. The whole idea really is that this is all part of a phase to, again, working your way up from the bottom, from a two-strand DNA helix, which originally represents what you would understand as a second density to third density integration. Very similar to the idea of, shall we say, the format in regards to certain animalistic behaviors. And now that it is moving up more into the third strand of DNA, you are now moving up into a fourth density to where the third density and fourth density energies are coplanar. So the whole idea now is that these particular energies of a third strand DNA helix is integrating yourself more so into a third, fourth density matrix hologram continuum. And that this continuum will allow yourself to continue to expand your DNA in certain intervals of what you understand as time. DNA itself holds many secrets within itself, as it were. It is an infinite library. It is not the only idea that you are experiencing living capacities, that which you would understand as life force energies upon your planet. Your own living library is what you would consider to be a consortium containing information that is crucial to your own understandings of elemental bondage, as well as, shall we say, informative, insightful social memory states contained within an individualized complex manifested through your own intentions to allow this to expand as well as collective interests that hold together a living library. In retrospect, this is the whole idea of your own living university that is contained within your DNA. But there is so much more beyond that. It is the idea that you are moving into a cosmic approach and that the cosmic approach will represent that of what you would know as a cosmic library, a universal library, many to which you have referred to as the Akashic Records. And that this is not sense holding two particular branches relating to the Akashic Records from the perspective that we can share. That the living library is only one particular branch relating to, shall we say, the Akashic Records as it formats itself in regards to physical, astral, and causal integrations that the other format relating to the universal library or Akashic records it is, as it is, represents more to what you would consider to be mental, ethereal, light, spirit, soul, and monadic planes of existence, leading up into what you would know as the isness library, which truly is, shall we say, the epitome of stillness, to where there is the knowing of unknowing, to where that is, shall we say, paradoxical and may not be fully understood at this time, as words serve. But the whole idea is that your DNA will eventually, this is a ways down the road, but will eventually connotate itself to the energies relating to those libraries that function more on the cosmic universal plane, the next branch up from the Akashic Records. Now, what many of you have been able to discover right now is that you are accessing the living library. The living library would represent, again, the physical, astral, and causal realms pertaining to this branch of the Akashic Records, and that your DNA holds the key to basically being the gatekeeper to moving further into these realms. As you understand the living, you will move into the cosmic. 
as you understand your own biology, you will move further into the understanding of soul. As you move further into the idea of your own unification-based understandings, formatting yourselves together into a succession of physical to astral to causal manifestation in unification altogether, you will then move on to the next layer, the next branch, which holds the Akashic Records. Your DNA is the key. And again, going back to the question, is there anything that we can do to accelerate the state of our DNA? That all depends in regards to your own natural states of acceleration that you consider to be valid. Your own validation of how far you are expanding to attain a state of realization in a lesser degree of time is the expansion acceleration itself. Your DNA will play its role out as it needs to in regards to your own, shall we say, emphasis pertaining to a smaller amount of time in regards to what you now realize rather than debating its conflict of uncertainty. So as you move more into the certainty of your own revolutions, the certainty in regards to your own expansion, the certainty relating to your own realizations, that therefore becomes the enhancement in the acceleration itself. The whole idea is that you're moving further into empowerment, and as the empowerment factor triggers itself, the DNA within your body is activating these particular octaves pertaining to, shall we say, once was overtones now starting to become the original tones themselves. You are now not looking just at the idea of a solid color. You are now starting to see a rainbow effect in regards to situations. This is housed by the DNA in correspondence to what you would know as your own synapsis activity pertaining to the brain. This also represents the idea of the geometry and harmonic equations that are constantly in a state of metamorphosizing flux through your own energetic fields that are creating what you would know as fractal key patterns to allow yourselves to enable a higher degree in regards to DNA correlation so that you are moving further up into the octaves in regards to physical, astral, and causal emphasis synergy altogether. So this is what can be caused by the DNA. The whole idea really is that much of what is happening upon your own planetary matrix is again being part from what you would know as the repopulation protocol, from the vibrational sound frequencies that are emerging from your moon that correlates with the orbits of your own star system, of your own planets, of your own sun. And as this starts to take fold further and starts to eventually start to level off, there will be much more of an extravagant advancement pertaining to a heightening of DNA on a collective level that many of you will notice. Now, the thing is that if indeed many of you traveled, transcended past your own planet, and came into the stars right now, your DNA, in that sense, would accelerate 500-fold simply because you are existing within a vacuum that is so enriched with potential energy that would actually not only would it enable a, an acceleration of DNA, but it would also enable your thought processes together to where you would actually have what you would know as genius-based IQ after the exposure of being within the stars, amongst the stars, within a matter of weeks, all depending upon the individual. But the idea of the expansion of IQ would greatly increase by being within the state of the vacuum. That's how it would operate. And what is happening right now is the lightning of the sound frequency field generated through this vibrational, shall we say, barrier between the moon and your planet is now starting to, again, release itself more into a state of subtlety that more of the cosmic energy sustained by the vacuum is now starting to integrate itself upon the planet that adjusts its own harmonic and thought magnetics appropriately so that you are then able to expand yourself further. So basically, in a nutshell, as you advance throughout the planet, the planet is moving more into a hybridized state of vacuum consciousness that represents the energies that you would feel if you were in outer space. Now again, it's not at full capacity, but it is certainly starting to move more into higher fractions in regards to that result. So again, understand here that your DNA altogether, your thought process altogether, your mentality altogether, the theme of your consciousness altogether is all part and parcel of the experiential 
format that is occurring upon this planet that is facilitated in between your moon and your planets, your star system, to allow you to integrate in regards to a transparency of transition to moving yourself into becoming advanced beings, moving from gods in training to being gods in integration, from being a G-I-T to being a G-I-I. And that's where you're moving into, gods in integration. And this will assist in further forms of mentoring capacities, not only through your own extraterrestrial realms, but through your elemental realms as well. You will all sustain yourselves appropriately in regards to the guidance that you consider to be valid to allow yourselves to expand, advance, and greatly move broader into the origins of your own natural making. That is inevitable, and that is coming, but it is a transitional process. And your DNA is indeed an enigma, a riddle, but altogether part of yourself, something that can be accessed. And the question to really ask yourself is, what do I feel that I can know that I do not know now? And that is the very rhetorical question that will allow an influence of expansion and acceleration to continue in regards to your universal factory of knowledge, of insight, of memory, of expansion, of recall, of godness pertaining to yourself, all that exists as mirrors of your consciousness, and all that exists within creation. We thank you very much for the opportunity of this interaction today. I am Adronis of Sirius. Thank you very much for the opportunity of this broadcast. We send you our love, our appreciation, and our gratitude. We now return to the conduit. We will speak to you again in the infinite moment of now. Goodbye for now. Thank you very much. Uh, a lot of information to take in, of course, but uh, thank you again for tuning in, and uh, feel free to check out ConsciousMatrix.com for all kinds of great uh, uh, services, products, uh, training available, one-on-one -on -one sessions with Adronis, and a lot more. So thank you very much again for tuning in, and looking forward to talking to you again very soon. Namaste. May it be well with you. Have a good day wherever you are in the world. Take care.